adding both a uh, blog archive and a blog role or a blog list as blogger now calls them is uh, not all that intuitive but pretty straightforward in going through and doing so let me show you how to do it real quickly um, the first thing to do is to in your dashboard here uh, go to layout clicking on layout then brings in those visual representations of each section of your blog okay so in a sidebar on this particular blog, I have add a gadget. And that's, you can see some of the gadgets that I already have here, um, an email gadget, uh, they're a blog archive gadget, and so on. And I've modified those to go through and do different things. But let me show you how to add them. So if you click on add a gadget, it brings up a menu of different types of gadgets that you can add to your blog. Um, featured post I'm using on the Corner and Consciousness blog that features just one main post all the time that sticks to the top of the page or blog search and so on you see. So a blog archive is here and if I click on that then it goes through and, and automatically comes up with uh, what kind of blog archive do I want to put in and you can go through and modify this however you want to go through and represent kind of an indexing of your blog in terms of what's happening. I do mine by dates and I wish this was more flexible to go through maybe just give me um, uh, chapter headings kind of a kind of a uh, an archive that way but I've yet to see anything done that way um, so experiment with that to click the different options and then uh, and then go back out of the blog and see what that does now you need to have a number of posts up before this will do anything because that's what it's working with is the uh, the RSS feed from your post that way so um, I won't put that one in there let's go back to gadget um, now your blog, Blogger usually defaults to an archive gadget already there and so it's just a matter of maybe going through and um, setting up how you want it to work uh, for your particular blog. Alright, so I'm going to scroll down a little farther here and I'm going to get into blog list and this is where it creates what's called a blog role. Uh, show off what you read with a blog role of your favorite blog. So if I click on this then it comes up with um, uh, and I, a blog list, and I can change that to just about anything. Um, let's see, I'm in my threat assessment blog, so maybe I can go through and find um, blogs on security. And just for kicks, let me just pick one of these uh, in this list. Oh, here we go. So I'm going to pick that URL. Okay, I see at the top I've uh, highlighted that URL. I'm going to copy that URL, and then I'm going to go back into that uh, block interface, and it's right there. We go. Okay, and right here again, not very intuitive, but down here it says add a blog to your list. So if I click on that, um, I could then paste the URL into that and uh, click add, and then it'll come up. Okay, so it's there. And I can go through and say, well, I just want the icon or the most recent item or snippet or thumbnail. I'm going to click those as well. Okay. And let's go back and just, uh, let's go back and find one more as well. Let me bring that back up. And I'm going to go top 50 wired bloggers information design. Okay, let's take that one. Okay. Again, I'm going to copy the URL and I'm going to go back into that dialog box. Add one more to my list. Paste that in there. Add. Okay, I got a couple of them there, and uh, and I'll leave that the way uh, I've set it. I'm going to hit save with that. Okay, and I'm going to go back out to my blog, and I'm going to click save arrangement then on top because it saves everything I just did. Now let's bring that up. And over here on the right hand side, you see the blog list pop up here, okay? And one happens to have a graphic in it. And since I clicked on the icon to include that in there, um, it comes up with a visual graphic, a visual tease. This one didn't have one, okay? It was just text blocks. And so uh, it's uh, that's what came up. But if I click on it, then it takes me out to that specific blog. And that's what a blog role does, all right? Okay, hope that helps you out.